Hey everybody, we're back here again. And as you can see, I'm in a different bowling alley. Testing my luck in a different bowling alley. God. I'm in a different bowling alley this time because I don't want me in bird bowl no more. I'm done trying that bowling alley. I'm not going there again. I'm I'm instead gonna be in probably this one from this point onward. I'm never going to Bird Bowl again. The oil pattern here seems to be a lot better than at the um, bird bowl. <sighs> didn't get a messenger. Yeah, the oil pattern here is a lot better than in that stupid burb bowl. And I guess there there aren't a lot of people to distract me here. Though I think some fans might tend to come here now. Especially the fact the one time I played in the Burb Bowl, I saw a fan shoot a 299, which should have been a 300, and he lost it to the 10 pin. I mean, if I can at least get good scores here, I'm sticking with this uh, bowling alley from this point onward. No longer Burb Bowl. Tripped out the four pin. Oh, that was the last throw. I thought that was the start of the second game. Is someone on perfect run over there? No. I at least want to get try to get some if people would want their perfect runs on a video I would be happy to do so but it'll have to be in this bowling alley from this point onward so I'm no longer going to be in bird bowl Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, missed it. It does take a little longer here to get the pins set up. Which I guess could be a good thing. So you could take your time to line up at least. So I'm going to do a couple games, and I'm going to decide whether I'm going to stick with this bowling alley from this point on. We're going to just got denied. Why did that sound play for where you knock a lot of pins down? on that. Yeah, get chopped, you little... I was about to say a curse word, but I quickly stopped myself from saying it. Hit the temp. Yeah, the the pin action seems to be a little better here. Yeah, this definitely seems to be a bit better, Bowling Alley. The oil pattern here is a lot better. Though I don't know which, what type it is. The six pin freeze mid animation as it got hit by another pin. Oh gosh, throwing incredible. Oh. Well, I got five strikes in a row here. Someone got a new highest by one pin. If you're seeing this, congrats on that, by the way. It does seem like you can leave an 8 pin a little more easier here.
Oh, I left a 7-10 split on a perfect run. Let's see if I can convert it, though. Maybe I can get at least one... Oh. I knew I wasn't going to convert that. I threw the ball way too slow. Yeah, I think I've made my decision. I'm going to stick with this bowling alley from this point on. I'm not going to do burp bowl anymore. I swear, if I get the rest... Could at least go for 10 strikes in one game. Eh, even if I didn't have that 7-10 split, I still would not have gotten perfection. I don't think the people next to me know I'm a YouTuber. I think that that's going to be a reason why I'm going to stick with this alley a little more because it's a little more private here. And I'm not, gonna, I'm not saying this to make people feel bad. I don't mind when I get a lot of attention. I mean, it can be distracting sometimes when I'm trying to make a video on something like this. So I got 245 there. I'm going to be in a new bowling league on Saturday. Well, this Saturday. I bowled a, um, in my previous league, I bowled a 246 one time. And I'm the one person actually announced that. I got a 246. I remember the first, uh, go... <coughs> The first three frames. I got the three strikes in the first three frames. Like where you're perfect at the third frame. But I think I got nine pins in a spare. And then I got another four in a row after that. And I can't remember what came next. I didn't get five in a row. Which I've not done in quite a while actually. Not in this game. In real life. I think the last time I did it was like in... I went bowling with my father one time. It was like a couple months ago. Whistle. You know what? I'm going to get out of this game actually. That's not going to be a real 300 if I take that. I would take it, but I think that would be considered not a real 300. Oh, oh no, oops. I just messed the game up, oh no. Okay, I gotta get out of this again. Okay, I gotta wait this time for the pin setter to do its job. Or at least the gate. Oh, I didn't get enough curve. Hold on, I'm gonna restart again. It also seems this bowling alley functions a little better. When you quit the game, or quit a um a game you're in,
Oh, I missed it. The pin didn't, the pin that was bouncing like that didn't knock it over. I think I'll do a couple more games. It's kind of late at night for me right now. It's 9 p.m. right now for, for me. Also, you guys, I just wanted to say thank you for 10,000 views on my train time video. I mean, I was surprised to see that 10,000 views, a five-digit number. Whoa, did you see that pin fly like Superman? Yeah, the oil pattern here seems to work a lot better than in Bird Bowl. So I think I've made my official decision. I'm going to be sticking with this bowling alley because I think it's a little easier to bowl a 300 here. But it does seem to have a glitch where when pins get hit, they can sometimes freeze mid-animation. Which should be fixed. Oh no, whoops. What was that? Why did my ball bounce off of that like that? Yeah, let me look at my scoreboard. What was that? I heard something a little terrifying. The ball cuts in a lot better here. I think I'd recommend this bowling alley if you want to try bowling a 300. Because I think it's more easier to do it here than in bird ball. Because pretty much all my games I bowled here have been high in games. Yeah, I'm gonna start over, you guys. I wanna start with a strike. And a strike means a perfect game. Oh my god. I'm starting over. I know this is a little annoying for you guys, but... Like I said, I want to start on a strike. Because a strike means you'll get a perfect game. Okay, I'm gonna... I gotta wait for the pin setter. Cause I messed it up the one time. Oh my 
my god, that was way worse, man. I feel like there should be a bowling like competition at a um like um Orlando Megacon or at other Comic Cons. Cause that would be something I'd be willing to participate in. I think you can leave a eight pin a lot easier here. I don't in this alley. I almost left an eight pin on that shot. Oh. That again. I think it, it's probably e it's harder to leave a nine pin here. I think in this alley, which will at least cut down the the amount of which will at least cut down the chance of leaving one here, and w should hopefully solve the problem from Burb Ball. What was that? Was that in the game or was it? You probably can still leave 9 pins, but it's probably a more slim chance here. Two hundred thirty five. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, it does seem a little harder for the ball to cut in here. Which would actually make it easier with facing further right. Because then I, I don't have to face as far right. See, it's easy as that. It's a lot easier to... I think it's easier to get a 300 here. When I went, I was I went bowling earlier today. I saw there was a left-handed bowler. I noticed he was missing his right forearm. Like it, his arm ended at his elbow, his right arm. And you guys, I'm gonna be honest about this: losing a limb can sometimes be your worst enemy. Oh my gosh, that pin almost stayed standing. Oh my gosh. Now that defies would defy the law of gravity. That actually happened to me one time when I went to my local bowling alley. What happened was I got what should have been a strike, but I believe it was um, the three pin. The three pins stayed standing in like... The 9-pin place. That was near perfection. Only by 2 frames. I got 10 strikes. So I think I'll do 1 or 2 more games. Depending on what happens. Oh, no, I do not want to start on the split, man. I do not want to start with a terrible break. Yeah, I came one in my video terrible breaks. I got close to perfection, but in the third frame, I think it was the third frame, I lost it to a, a split. Even though the game didn't count it as a split. Ugh. Nope. I think I'm going to do one more game where 
I start with a strike. Yeah, so what happened was I got the, um, the first two strikes. And then, like, I got a split that the game didn't classify as one. And then I got the last the last nine shots were strikes. And I, I bowled a 265, I think it was. Yeah, it was a 265. Oh, come on, man. I want to start on a strike. Is that too much to ask for? Come on. No, no, no. Come on. I want a strike, not a stone nine. I've already reset four times trying to do this. Why do I always lose it to a 9 pin? You know, I'm doing one more game after this. Or, you know what, forget it. I'm just going to take what I get here. Sometimes you just have to be happy with what you get. Well, I didn't expect to get perfection, if I'm going to be honest. Since this is all new bowling alley, I got to get used to. Okay, well, apparently throwing high is never the answer to a strike. Well, I did something dumb. By throwing the ball a thousand miles down the lane. Yeah, see that? The ball cuts in a whole lot better. In Bird Bowl, it w that probably would not have been a strike.
Well, anyway, moving on to the final frame of the day. Oh my god. That same score from a previous game. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video here for today. We got to a new level, at least, so I guess there's one good side to this. And. Man, it's costing a whole lot more experience now to get to the next levels. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here for today. And if you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe. So bye for now.